The Polk County town of Haines City is thinking big, wanting to land in the Guinness Book of World Records. But as our Chris Trekman reports, new at six, it comes at a high cost. This is Haines City, population 21,000, once a freight train mecca, home of the historic Polk Hotel, and fast approaching its 100th birthday. A centennial celebration now only happens once every 100 years, so we wanted to really do something big and exciting. So the city council approved spending $15,000 from the promotions budget to break a Guinness Book world record. The city wants something to be known for, something they can put on a sign as people drive into town. The only problem? They have no idea what record to set. It'll draw a lot of good attention to this area. Well, it's getting a little run down, and it needs to up pick something up. Businesses in the struggling historic district have some ideas. The downtown area needs to, to be promoted. Restaurant owner Renee Friedmeier restored an old train station and says a world record might attract some new customers. But some residents say the city has already set a record for dumb ways to spend taxpayer money. It's stupid. <laughs> the way the economy is today, it's really stupid, don't you think? Much of the costs go to Guinness itself to help figure out a record to go after. For what? They have haven't figured that out yet. Oh no, unless if I knew exactly what it was for, I wouldn't want my tax dollars going towards it at all. No. no I think taxpayer money could be used probably in better places around here. I'm sure there's a lot of things that they could fix around here, maybe roads or, you know, infrastructure. The city says it plans to set the record during its July 4th celebration, a record that represents the city's core values, whatever they may be. In Haines City, Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.